Hey guys, it is morning time. I'm about to head into a meeting here. I'm donning my uh, Cooley Bar parking lot cape of protection. I love this thing. It's got the uh, it's got the hand uh, protectors on it. This is a uh, UPF 50 fabric here, so it keeps me protected. And I've got my hat. It's a beautiful day. Um, today is grocery day and um, I'm headed, I'm hoping to do a Kroger Costco Mambo Combo today. I haven't been to Costco in forever. I feel as though, you know, they, they must, they must think that I've broken up with them or something. But I haven't. I've just been, I've been dating H-Mart and loving it uh, and loving it. Um, but there's some things that I need to get at Costco and I want to swing into Kroger as well. So I'm about to head into a meeting now and later this late afternoon, hopefully I will have time to hit up both. So yeah, this morning I put on the Elsa MD UV Sport. I am that sunscreen I continue to love. I've got um, I've got the Elta MD uh, clear clear one. I forget the name of it. I want to try that, but I just love I love the UV Sport one so much that I don't want to stop using it. That sunscreen I love using. That and the Biore UV watery essence I feel as though have the most grab and go potential. As in, like you can really just keep reapplying that stuff and and not not be plagued by like the cast, not be plagued by like just looking like a grease ball. They're both fantastic. The Biore UV Watery Essence, uh, you might find stings or irritates you a little bit if you're very sensitive or have very dry skin. I really, really like it when it's humid and it's kind of been humid here um, the past few days, so I've really been enjoying it in that manner. I am done with Bioderma and I am done with uh, the um, Aven sunscreens that my friend from the Netherlands sent me from so the the French formulations. Um, and so I should I'm going to try the the La Roche Posay uh, French the French the actual French La Roche Posay uh, sunscreen that that was also sent to me um, in the future here and uh, see how that one does but so far I, I I still love my Ulta MD UV Sport that one and uh, Biore UV Watery Essence and the Nivea um, Sun Protect gel I also loved I'm wondering if I might buy that again for the summertime those are my favorite but anyways I have better a buzz on in here and I'll check with you guys later I'm all done and here at Costco, about to head in. I was just uh, putting my purse down below when I got into the car and uh, popped my trunk accidentally. That's always annoying. But I'm just putting on a little of the Biore UV Watery Essence before I go across the parking lot. It's good and cloudy, but UVA is still penetrating. Ideally, I would have put this on 20 minutes before, but I did not. So I'm reapplying now. Always want to make sure you get your neck, too. Ugh. The thing I love about the Biore UV Watery Essence, though, in these Japanese sunscreens, is that, honestly, they really go on, like, they go on like water. I mean, look, like, it's just like water. I did find I did find the Bioderma sunscreen while I liked it and I thought it went on really nicely. I found that it it was really liquidy, but it um it was also kind of kind of left a film to it. So, um, but yeah, I found it <clears throat> I found it didn't I found the Bioderma one didn't blend as well in terms of leaving a bit of a cast, which was fine on my skin tone. But I think if you're someone um, in Europe with a darker skin tone um, in France and you're trying to particularly um, protect yourself against worsening of post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, and you want the good UVA protection that the Bioderma affords, you probably won't like that one because it's pretty filmy. Or 
not pretty filmy. I don't know, I guess I'd give it a, a four on a scale of one to ten, one being no film and ten being like like the old school zinc. But anyways, I'm gonna buzz on into Costco. got my list here. How cute is that? Priorities. <laughs> Ve priorities. Veggies on the top. I'm of course getting distracted by the office supplies. One of my weaknesses in life. That books and legumes. I'm like I'm like a, a moth to a bug zapper. Like who doesn't need a hundred gel pens? Okay, walk away. $19.99. Somehow these look like they would skip, though. Comment below if you've used these, those of you who journal and whatnot. I imagine they would skip quite a bit. Oh my gosh, this looks awesome. I have this annoying uh, hanging rack thing in my, my closet where I keep my shoes, and it's pretty decent, but this looks really awesome because you can put scarves underneath. I never know what to do with my scarves when I take them off. I really like this. I could just put it in my hall closet. Except I want to see a prototype, you know? I want to see a prototype. It's 30 bucks. That's, that's not very expensive. I'm tempted. Neat freak. It speaks to me. I like neatness. Look guys, you can get swallow nest soup here. I wonder if uh, swallow nest is as uh, coveted a delicacy in, in China as uh, swiftlet nest. Remember when, uh, remember when I did that mask a while back that was supposedly contained extract from the swiftlet nest, that little cute bird, um, and apparently making a soup out of their nest is like, a, like Chinese caviar. Um, I wonder how the swallow nest soup compares for. It comes in these cute little jars. Um, I don't know that I would consume this. Um, it's definitely not vegan, but it's 40 bucks, so I'm guessing this is also pretty, pretty expensive to source. Um, but it's got organic sugar in it. <laughs> is this supposed to be sweet? It looks like it might be sweet. Okay, so from Kroger, I got uh, six apples of a variety of types here that I just washed in a little bit of white vinegar and water and towel dried, and I keep them in this bowl in my refrigerator. I also got three sweet potatoes. I have really been into those sweet potato smoothie bowls like in the recipe that I showed you guys. So hopefully I can have some of those this week because they are really tasty. I got some ginger, a green bell pepper, yellow onion. I've already got several cloves of garlic so didn't need to get any more garlic. I got two Asian pears as well as three um, brown pears or Bosch pears, I think these are. And I got a head of cabbage. And then for my smoothie bowl toppings, <laughs> I hit up the bulk bin and got some walnuts. <laughs> They're so cute in this little jar. I also got some organic Thompson Valley raisins. And then the Simple Truth Organic Peanut Butter um, Powder is still on sale at my Kroger, so I went ahead and got um, another container of that, and I also had a coupon for this as well. Yeah, I really like dusting this on top of oatmeal, and I also mix it in to soups uh, to make like a peanut sauce or peanut broth. It's really good. And I got a head of cabbage. I also got um, some carrots, and <laughs> you know me and the legume compulsion. I'm running low on brown lentils, so I got a bag of those, and I love black-eyed peas, and I was, I've been really pleased with the Kroger brand of black-eyed peas, so I got a bag of those. 
Yeah, this was like a dollar ten, and this was ninety seven cents, and these equate to twenty six servings. So for a little over two dollars, you get twenty six meals worth of food. So show me the drive through window that can make that claim. There's not one. And yeah, I know what you're saying. Well, in the amount of time that it takes to make lentils, I just don't have the time. Well, I beg to I beg to argue. Yeah, I mean, I've seen the drive through line at, at Chick-fil-A. Who are we kidding here? It, that is not fast food. And the amount of time that you sit in the line at Chick-fil-A, you usually could have boiled some water and thrown in some lentils and been donezo. <laughs> but that's everything that I got at Kroger. All right, so from Costco, first up in the freezer section, before I have to put it away, I got a bag of the Kirkland Three Berry Blend. It's got raspberries, blueberries, and blackberries in it. I used to buy this all the time when I lived in New York at the Costco there, and for whatever reason, I haven't bought it in, in a while, but it's a good one, and I enjoy it. These are great, just like thrown in smoothies with a little bit of spinach and protein powder, really good. And then I find that their organic broccoli florets are a good value and an excellent convenience to have on hand when you get low on produce at the end of the at the end of the week. Um, you can just grab some of this out of the freezer. It tastes delicious, and I really enjoy it. So, and in this giant bag, you get you get uh, 21 servings, but it's in uh, individualized little um, little pouches. Not, I think there's like three three medium-sized pouches in here. So what I do is I just take one of these pouches out and you know, open it up, take out what I need, and then put the remaining frozen florets in a freezer container that I can go in and out of uh, until that little pouch is done before opening the next. So you don't have to keep this whole big bag in your um, freezer. And then I also got a big bag of the fresh and quick spinach. I go through this in less than seven days, so no shame there. Okay, and then I went ahead and got uh, the Vermont Village Classics Organic Apple Cider Vinegar. I have been purchasing this at Costco for a long while now, and I really enjoy it. It's pretty comparable in my opinion, if not identical to the Bragg's one. It's got the mother floating around down there and is excellent. So, And it's a really good value at Costco. I think these two bottles are like six bucks, so that's, that's pretty inexpensive and I, I really like it. Then I stocked up on almond milk because I don't know if I'm gonna be going back to Costco again anytime soon in the next few weeks. So I got two of their boxes of boxed organic um, unsweetened almond milk. This is my favorite almond, almond milk. Um, it happens to have a vitamin B12 added to it, which this is the only non-dairy milk that I've found that has that added to it. Um, it also has vitamin D and uh, calcium as well. So that makes me happy that it's providing a little bit of B12 um, because with a plant-based vegan diet, that's something to always be cognizant of your intake. There we have it. And then I love beets to death, but I do not like preparing them. They're just messy. So I enjoy purchasing these vacuum sealed uh, Geffen organic whole peeled cooked beets. They come three packs uh, in a box. I went ahead and got two boxes. And you just open up the little packet and take out what you need. If you don't use the entire little packet, you can just pop them in the fridge and they keep fresh. They are so good. There are a variety of different things you can do with them, but honestly, I just eat them on a fork. <laughs> um, and then I got some celery, some bananas, And then outside of the realm of food, I got these uh, little sports bra bralettes by DKNY, one in black and one in white. Um, so I look forward to having these because I really enjoy wearing kind of sports bra type things um, and find that they're comfortable. Tea time. I'm just steeping a little of the Stash Blueberry Superfruit Caffeine Free Herbal Tea. I really enjoy this. It's got about two and a half minutes left to go. But yeah, it's definitely one of my favorites, that stash blueberry tea, that and the red velvet cupcake stash tea. It's so good. I like those two. The blueberry tea that I just showed you 
is a little bit different though, however, from this Yogi Berry tea that I've also been enjoying. Let me show you guys. The Yoga Berry Detox. This is a caffeine-free um, hibiscus tea. That is really a good one um, that I've been enjoying a lot. I really like hibiscus tea and kind of berry teas, fruity teas, dessert teas. So I've really been enjoying those, um, as well as peach flavor. I love the Bigelow Perfect Peach, but those are just some of my favorites. I like to drink these in the like evening time because they're caffeine-free and they're just kind of like a little sweet treat. Um, I didn't grow up drinking tea. It's kind of something that I've started enjoying, but it's a good way to get in some antioxidants, you know, instead of putting them on your face where they have no, like, they just can't thrive on top of your face. I'm sorry, they just can't. I mean, you know, you can find, you can find a lot of studies that, that support it, but then you're up to the mercy of the cosmetic company when in fact, just, just ingest them. Just drink your tea and eat your veggies and let the magic unveil itself. But anyways, the timer just went off, so let me squeeze the bag. I'm double bagging on my antioxidants here. <laughs> yeah, some of my favorite teas are the hibiscus teas and um, the rosehip tea. I really like those. Um, it's, it's how I get my antioxidants in, that and all the veggies I consume. But I'm a firm believer that antioxidants shine the brightest when you ingest them rather than putting them on your face. They just can't thrive there, honestly. I mean, the glow is just the moisturizer in the serum, probably. <laughs> uh, but I love these and I'm totally, totally in love with the Matcha Reserve green teas as well. My antioxidant game so far in 2018 has been stepped up ingestion-wise even more than it was in 2017. Oh, so good. You guys have any teas or beverages that you're into as of late? But anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed my grocery vlog today and my grocery haul. Um, it's all put away and I'm stocked for the next five to seven days. <laughs> um, so if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and as always, don't forget, sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye.